What's going on everyone? It's Liam Catterson here and we're going to be reacting to Agent Carter episode number one of season two. We're with the lady in the lake and I can't wait to be delving into this new chapter of uh, Peggy's story but I'm also a bit at concern considering, you know, how people do say that it... Um, it's not as good as season one, but it's still enjoyable, so that gives me a little bit of optimism, but, uh, it, I'm not as, you know, expected on things to, you know, get a bit, a bit better, I guess, like Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., like, that's progressively better each season, it seems, um... Whereas this is quite the reverse, I guess, since this is only two seasons. But yes, the last season of Agent Carter. I'm really interested to see how where uh, how things go with Leviathan. I guess kind of squashed. I mean, yes, I say kind of because Dottie's still at large and uh, Fedoff is working alongside um, Zola. Yeah, I forgot his name there uh, for a second there. But yes, it part of the hypnotism thing that would work on Bucky, of course. And, um, I, I, funny thing is, I'm referred to Ages of S.H.I.E.L.D. and not Bucky. Booker, uh, Bucky being the bigger, uh, concern, of course. The bigger, like, deal in terms of the hypnotism thing. because uh, we all know what went down with the Winter Soldier. Um, so, yeah, it's going to be really, really interesting to see how things go, uh, uh, after the last episode. So, without further ado, Lady in the Lake, episode number one of season two. Let's go. Withdrawal. That is not Peggy. You are a fraud. Faker. Oh. She was expecting. <laughs> We've got to see a fight between these two. Come on. See, this is the fight I wanted to see. Oh. This is the appropriate time to say jackpot. Come on, Peggy, go on. Oh! Whack and a heart! That'll give you a concussion. Love that. I wonder why. She did say she wanted to be Peggy Carter. Well, you got your chance and you blew it. But it's sunny. Until we catch this lunatic. Damn! Looks like you and me are partners. Well, she see, she does seem to be a bit chilled, to be fair. There's no owner on the bank registry. Why did you want it? Peg, we both know there are currencies stronger than money. She's not going to spill the bean. No. If anyone can break Guy Underwood, it's Carter. <laughs> you two mooks have yeah. something better to do. She's, she could break, she, like, Peg, Peggy, like, Chief, is deeper in the, the Leviathan <laughs> hole than anyone else, though. She could use everything to her advantage, but As no fear in her unlocking the Miss Chief Susan Dio. <gasps> what? Congratulations, Jack. He caught a high-profile case and needs eyeballs with experience. Oh, so he sent it. Else. No one knows Dotty. Could have said, I just, I've got just the yeah. woman you're yeah. looking for, yeah. unless I don't know. He's trying to surprise him or something. I don't know. Next flight leaves for Los Angeles in three hours. Sus asked for you and nobody else. Meet the newest member of the Stark Mansion Menagerie. Flamingo. Bernard. Oh no. Then it's stuck to give him his full name. Ready for another invention, Miss Carter? <laughs> Expecting... You didn't put the request in. No, I did. But not for me. I just didn't think you were coming until tomorrow. Um. No, that's. Angeles. No, it's a hug. Come on. You two should be. Right, something went on between these two. This ship it never sailed. Like three hour time difference feels like a lifetime. Okay. I don't like how the fuck this ship never sailed. The step that we should take is to determine whether or not the dead body and the frozen lake are even the same crime. So they could be two separate incidents. What, like a, uh, I don't know, a cover? A like if someone froze the body uh, at a different place rather than wish you called. Uh, the lake freezing or something? Oh, that's bizarre. <laughs> okay, this this case is definitely that's not ice. bizarre. Then what is it? No. Short answer is I don't know. So it was a long answer. And there's nothing else. I don't think there's ice. Like I'm doing there's something you bizarre in her body. Always looking down your noses at us lab techs. Excuse me. 
Just because we don't carry guns doesn't mean we're not in the SSR. Ooh. We value your contributions. I'm usually a, a whiskey girl, but this is the best wine I've ever tasted. Good girl. See, see, I realized that by manipulating the oxygen and the malacanthacinic acids, I, I could tweak the pH so balance. So you're a genius. No. This guy's, this guy's but cool. There were some rumors, but I don't like to participate. I want to know I rumors. Really, Come on. Something about Jane, you'd be helping her. Yeah, exactly. Let's just Any say kind of leads. She had a very close relationship with the owner of Isodyne Energy, Calvin Chadwick. Ooh. By close as involved. Yes. Yeah, yes. I had a feeling. Oh. Sleeping together. Your point is made. <laughs> No, don't even bother. Uh oh. I'm sorry, I got you caught. <laughs> I think it's just like, oh, for. <laughs> well, she's a bit more rowdy than he is. <laughs> I think it's just like. She's an embarrassing creature. I think. I think. First impressions are. She's too easy. What's that look? <laughs> See, I knew she was trouble. I I was expecting someone more like Mr. Jarvis. And a girdle. Yes. <laughs> Trouble. I, li I like it. The heroic. opposite. For your support. Are you aware that Miss Scott is dead? Who did you say you were, Miss? Uh oh. Agent Peggy Carter with the SSR. When was the last time you saw Scott? <laughs> I just love that. SSR protocol to surprise Smooth. people with the death notices of their employees. I understand she was more privileged than an employee. Mm -hmm. Is your wife aware you were having an affair? You would be perfect for the lead role. In the come on, come out production. with the... Come out with the yeah. truth, Chadwick. And what's the picture? The movie. Yes. The, the, the stock pictures is, 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 on, is orchestrated. Is, is called Iron Man. The British are coming. <laughs> I'm tired. Dr. Meltzer. Oh shit! What the hell? What the fuck was? Call me friends. Well, <clears throat> you killed the carrot. You ate the carrot. Oh shit. Oh, is this going to be some bitter, like, revenge or whatever for what she did? Is it a good idea to... What are you going to tell me? No! Not the best idea to... Too easy. Peggy. Oh, shit. I can see why she didn't attack Peggy then, and she attacked him because... Like, she knows about Peggy and how she will not uh, be weakened, whereas... Yeah. Brilliant stuff. Not the wisest idea, though, Jack. Wait! What? That just froze! Wait, unless he's got something to do with... He was killed from exposure to the substance that froze the lake. Her shoes were switched on her feet. The only people that knew that detail were the actual lady, the lake killer, and the... the police. Where's Detective Henry? Oh, no! Moving. So he is. Tighten what the? F Excuse me. He's Hit you. Get in. What is it you expect? So he. Uh, what the? F whoa, whoa, whoa. He supposedly killed Jane. <laughs> Tell me. What? What were you still in this pit? <laughs> he supposedly he killed so Jane. What? Well, I have uh, your interest. What do you give me? Just. So when I was hired to take care of Jane Scott's body, I made it look like the lady who lay killer and, uh, to revive the shh. case. Oh, dead. so he... Oh. He pulled all my resources. Don't you see? I'm a good guy. So Jane... So he tried to... Okay, so that makes it... But do you believe him now? Although he seems desperate to end this. Shit, no. Don't kill. What the... Oh, sh yeah, and you. Oh, damn. I said no guns! I'm sorry, I, I left my radio in the car. Ah, oh, shh. So he killed. Yeah, damn it. I mean, he was dying anyways. It looked like he was rusting up, and that was inevitably going to happen. Relevant. The entire Department of War is being restructured, which means that the SSR is going to merge into S.H.I.E.L.D. It's a different game now. So the SSR is coming to a close. Do I want to be the former chief of the SSR or the current muckety muck of the next big thing? Um, but it will. Muck. But yeah, like I said, it will come into shield. Yeah, that's so. the kind of attitude that's going to serve you very well. 
He's trying to bring him on board with the FBI. Uh, FBI. The most intense and prolonged exposure, which may explain why he succumbed first. Mm. At your earliest convenience, I'm going to need a written report stating. So, is there is there a way to stop this in oh, case, like, it, like I don't know, well, I think you struck them properly for saving my life, Agent Carter. So it's nothing to do with uh, touching it. It's something to do with being exposed to this kind of radiation. You're a brave man. But uh, you're not done, you know. Chadwick, so... Good man. He hired the p officer to kill him. Oh, shit. And that's the last time we should have to dirty our hands. Hmm? Just because you dirtied other parts of your anatomy. <laughs> wait, wait, so they were... That, yeah. They were sure definitely involved. The adventure, the adventure follows you. What the hell? Who do you think killed Jane Scott? Oh, hell no. Great. And I was gonna say that Chadwick could. I pop down here. <laughs> no, you you don't say. But yeah, Chadwick could be aiding Whitney. Are you up to no good? I don't know why it reminds me of the Gravitonium. <laughs> It's not Gravitonium. So yeah, a pretty nifty episode of Agent Carter that was um, to start off season two. It was pretty pretty fun to stuff to see, especially with the whole investigation thing. Yeah, it do, it does seem like Chadwick and Frost have some kind of it definitely. Yeah, they have some involvement with um, Jane's death, um, especially you know the fact that um, you know he was assuring Frost. Frost seems like to be the ringleader. It seems. Or something along the lines, because he was assuring her. I mean, Chadwick might not directly kill like Jane, for example, but he, I know he could still be in the know about this. So uh, aiding alongside Frost um, or anything, and it would make sense, Whitney Frost. There we go. So um, yeah, but he did assure her. So it seems like she is the like reasoning behind. Um, what happened to Henry and, of course, Jane. But um, it, it, it's just really interesting. You know, Henry wanted to get back into this case so he uh, would, you know, ha uh, he would plant the body with the help of Chadwick. And then, uh, they must have known that Henry was infected. So otherwise they wouldn't have hired that officer, maybe, unless it's just to cover their trails kind of thing. I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, it would do, because, like, if uh, they were to blab, oh, like, if Henry were to blab that, uh, oh, you know, uh, Chadwick, you know, he authorised me to, you know, do to do this, then, yeah, it would be a bit of a sticky complication for him, and uh, maybe Whitney. For some reason, I just want to call her Emma Frost. Uh, you, I think we all know why, but I don't know. Whenever someone's, like... The, to know that there, there's someone called Frost and it doesn't have the name ever in, yeah. Uh, different thing, Liam. I know it's, yeah, it's Marvel, but different thing. Uh, but yeah, it was a really, really interesting story. Really, really bizarre. And I can't wait to see how this, you know, does escalate for, uh, for future episodes with the whole uh, Frost infection thing. Um, and to see how much involvement, you know, Whitney does have in the, uh, in the like... Like I said, she is the ma main um, culprit, but of course, like, how far she's willing to take this, especially when they inevitably find out that uh, they are really dodgy people. So, yeah, it was a r it was really good on that front. The relationship between Wilkes and um, Carter, of course, I do dig it, but like I said, you're not Daniel. Um, yeah, that is a bit of a heartbreak, because I really dug them too, uh, as... I thought, I think it's I think them two would make a great couple of course, but uh, it seems like they tried to do something about that and it didn't like I said, the ship didn't sail at all, so by the end of the season we've got nine more episodes, please, please. Um but no, like I said, uh yeah, it seems like we're gonna be seeing Wilkes in, uh, more in the future, which is great because he seems like a really enjoyable character and given by Suze's comments, oh, do you think he could be of help? So it's gonna be really, really interesting. And now he's now dragged into the weird, I guess, with uh, him seeing the shards of that, um of the person who's in the morgue. 
yeah, he's he, there's no re there's no back out option for him. So yeah, um, yeah, it was just pretty good. Anna just defined my expectations. I to be fair, I thought she was going to be like Jarvis, and that's why them two clicked because you know. Where where else in the world are you going to find someone like Jarvis, maybe? So, um, a bit of a, a surprise, but a welcome one, definitely. Um, the whole Dotty situation, I do feel she's going to still be a big factor. Not as big as she was in season one, but she's definitely, like, the whole key thing. It's going to be really, really, uh, well, the key, it's a pin, but yeah. Uh, it looks, it, it looks like a key, to be fair. Uh, whatever it is. But, um, yeah. It, it she does seem like she's going to play a big factor, but the FBI do have her. But I mean, this is Dotty. Like she, she's someone that needs to be put down if you're going to restrain her. If anything, it seems. But I just love the, uh, how you know it's not Peggy. Uh, if it's not Peggy, then I'm not uh, even going to you know bother listening or whatever because um, you know, Pe like I said, Peggy tried that trick. Uh, tried uncovering her like that kind of trust, like not to buy into her fear. And when Jack did it, it all went to hell for him. A uh, bit of a shame that the SSR is closing, but it will be merged with S.H.I.E.L.D., of course. Uh, I guess that's explaining a lot of things, of course. Like, well, I mean, Peggy will uh, head S.H.I.E.L.D., uh, like, will become a part of S.H.I.E.L.D., of course, um, in her future. But, yeah, it's it's just really been interesting thus far. But, yeah, it was an awesome episode of Aging Carter. A great way to start. I, I really enjoyed it, to be fair. Uh, the whole mystery surrounding the lady in the lake killer, that kind of dupe that, uh, oh, is it Henry? Oh, no, it's not. He, he, uh, just was hired to do some dirty work by Chadwick and Frost, and, uh, yeah, it was a really, really interesting episode, especially l learning about where these characters are, especially Daniel, chief of his own office in LA. Um, it was, it's, it's a really, really nice, um, sight to see, you know, Daniel, Souza as the chief brilliant uh, he he can uh, he can nail it as well definitely so i will see you guys next time hope you guys enjoyed this reaction you can check my videos on the right if you want to check out more of my content you can also subscribe to my media links uh, media links and channel if you want to hope you guys enjoyed this reaction hope you guys take care and i will see you guys next time toodles